this weird oniony taste. You hunted your own food, you gathered it, you ate, and then your body would st Welcome to the full day of eating high carb day because we have done the last four days on less than a hundred grams of carbs a day. Not to mention about four days ago, we drastically increased all the dosages and added in four more compounds, but I'm going to save that for next video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss that. Just to prove my point that more drugs do not equal a better physique. We've opted out of morning cardio today. We're just going to take my weight really quick, do a physique update, and then I actually have to head out to my rental property uh, to do some work. But I'm going to take you through meal by meal and kind of give you some tips along the way. Two twenty-one. I'm a little shocked at that, to be honest, because I was two eighteen before all those high carb days. But at the same time, I also increased all the dosages. So putting on muscle mass, holding extra water. I don't know. But that's why we take our weight almost every day. That's why we take these physique updates so we can kind of make adjustments and fine tune to the show day. Yeah. I'm gonna set up my camera yeah. and let's yeah. see what we're looking like. Show me some. Show me. 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 Show me some. Show me some. Show me. Show me some. Diamonds in my grill, you see me shining. See me shining. Twenty phones on that cayenne when we ride. When we ride. Now show me some. Show me. Show me some. Show me some. Show me some. Yeah. Just know I've been popping since Dr. J's a chronic. Love all my hoes excited. The back shots and she riding. Hey, I go for that gusto. Loser. What we were looking like. I kind of changed up the lighting twice. Because I feel like that first lighting was like super, super bright. So I already got breakfast cooked. <laughs> oh, did you just eat that? Did you? No, you didn't. But holy Spider-Man. But I am the hero that the world gets. Starting off with as much water as we can drink before we hit caffeine. Avoid that midday crash. Since we have a high carb day today, we're going a little low on the protein. We have 150 grams of egg whites with one whole egg. And then we have three packets of the sugar maple oats with 100 grams of blueberries. This is the first time that I've ate carbs in the morning in four days. This will honestly slap. Mm, almost forgot. Growth hormone, I already f***ed this up. You wanna do growth hormone fasted when your blood sugar is the lowest, ideally pre-morning cardio. But we also have TB500, BPC157 in here to try to help my back out. Like I said, guys, we increased every dose. Honestly, worried for myself, but I'm excited. So I'm going to crush this meal down, head off to my income property. But I got to be back here for a plumber, not myself. <laughs> like a real plumber to rip apart the sink because the hot water doesn't work upstairs in the shower. Super stoked for today. Carbs literally makes you happy. Changed my mind because I've wanted to die. And now... I just want to severely hurt myself. I'll see you soon. Just got home, but I'm kind of in that spot right now where it is two o'clock. The plumber said he's going to be here in like 10 minutes. Now, I don't know if the plumber is going to be here for 45 minutes or be here for three hours. He's already been here one time for an hour, Came back another time to replace all the faucets, clean them out, replace the coils. That was like three and a half hours. Still no hot water. So this time they said they need to like rip apart something deeper in the wall to fix. So do I eat now or do I just have a snack until later? Because at least if I have a snack now, I can have even more carbs pre and post workout. We're training shoulders today. So I get a nasty pump and I'll feel like better towards the end of the day. And I've been craving these Gorilla Mine protein bars. 260 calories, 21 grams of protein, 29 carb, but there's 10 grams of fiber. And I don't count fiber in terms of calories or carb. So that would only be 19 grams of carb, 10 grams of fat. Packed little like Snickers bar. It's like a little Oompa Loompa, just like me. Oompa Loompa Mm, 260 calories, keep slamming back some water, and I'm gonna go cut the grass, wait until he's done, 
shower, and then get our pre-workout in. Now, I normally shower like right when I get up, but I've been in such a rush today. I'll see you soon. Hi, fixing the sink is still here. I was munching on some rice chips, but because he's working on the sink, I didn't have power, so I could not pressure wash the back. But in the meantime, everything is whipper snipped almost, and I decided to build the swing. I bought this swing that's been sitting in my garage for like ever, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna take this time. It's super nice out. I put some tanning oil on, and this is what it looks like. Boom! Right there. But when that all gets pressure washed and all cleaned up, it's gonna look super nice and hopefully I can just work out there, get like a patio table eventually. Two and a half hours since I spoke to you last and he does not even look close to done. So honestly, we're just gonna have another meal. It is a high carb day. My goal is just not to go over like 450 to 500 grams of carbs today. So we're gonna have some rice. I'm gonna make something up and I'll show you in three, two, one. Bam. That is what we got, which is 200 grams of cooked pasta. We have 175 grams of extra lean ground beef. And I barely had any Alfredo sauce left, but I literally just drizzled what we had left on. It's gonna be pretty dry, but I put some salt on. Cracking a second monster for the day and getting to work because clearly it looks like the training will not be done until later It's kind of unfortunate because I was having a cheat meal post workout and I didn't really want to have that cheat meal Right before bed. So what I'm gonna do to kind of like make up for that is I'm gonna train Then we're gonna go get the cheat meal Then I'm gonna do 30 or 45 minutes of cardio post cheat meal just so I can kind of use those carbs for energy and so they don't store as fat. Because guys, like that's why in a simple scientific terms, some people just get away with eating more food. It's because their body just uses it. For me, if I were to eat a ton of carbohydrates, I would use a little bit during the day. The rest would store as fat to be used as an energy source because that's the way we kind of were brought up. If you believe in the whole caveman era, you hunted your own food, you gathered it, you ate, and then your body would store that so you could have enough energy to hunt again. I'll see you guys for our pre-workout meal. And then it's time to train heavy shoulders and I'm gonna try to push it tonight. The time that we have been waiting for all day has come at 6.30 at night. 125 grams of white rice and 200 grams of fishies. We got Dory and the crew in there. But I've been waiting for this all damn day is we got four slices of toast, where I guess it's still bread right now, but it will be toast soon. And we are gonna be putting some jam on this. Oh, -hoo -hoo! that's what I'm talking about. Some simple carbohydrates to fuel this freaking shoulder day. And then we got the entire cupboard of goodies here. We're gonna take some vitamin A, some B, Two scoops of Gorilla Mode. We're gonna do Volcano today. Um, I'm just gonna film one exercise of one set and we're gonna try to push the weight today because I have the extra carbs. This is the nine week out, so and I'm feeling good. I mean, I have had a few more rice chips than I probably should have had in between these meals, but I closed my eyes when I ate those. When you close your eyes when you eat something, it actually doesn't count because you didn't see it. So that's a pro tip and gonna eat this, watch some TV. It's time to train, baby. Let's go.
two and a half scoops of Gorilla Mine, usually on a high carb day. I wouldn't get this much protein in, but you know, I'm just hungry. And I'm really trying to grow into this show. With taking the amount of drugs that I'm taking right now, I figured I might as well eat more protein because I'm obviously training heavier than I've probably ever trained, minus my leg and back days because this annular tear in my disc. What the fuck? I just got something in my fucking eye. It's causing pretty severe muscle loss in my legs because I can't do any pressing, I can't do RDLs, I can't do any of that shit. I was in this position before and obviously my legs pulled through towards the end of the show, towards I guess, the end of the prep because towards the end of the prep my back started to feel better. As I start to get lighter, my back will start to feel better as I'm not eating fucking four or five cheat meals a week. My body will be in a less inflammatory, inflammatory, inflammatory state. We just pulled up to Burger Priest and Five Guys is closed because I was really going to just get like a bacon burger with no cheese. Because I know that cheese makes my skin break out like a muff. But acne tech skincare kind of helps, but you know, if you're fucking sensitive to dairy, I don't give a fuck what soap you're using or how frequent you're injecting, your skin's gonna break out, dude. Like, you can't just take products and be like, oh, it's cured my skin. It doesn't really work that way. So this place has something called the Vatican, which is a grilled cheese with two patties and then another grilled cheese, and it is literally the best burger I've ever had in my life. I had it in like 2018 when I competed when I was like eight, no, I was 19. I was 19 years old and I did the Toronto Pro-Am. Back in the day there was regionals, provincials, and nationals. So you had to do Toronto to qualify for nationals. I did all that at 18 and 19. I'm gonna go order because I'm starving and I'll see you guys at home to show you exactly uh, what it looks like. Two grilled cheese sandwiches with a sli two slices of bacon, four slices of cheese on two smash patties. Get this right here and ketchup. That's it right there. Then we got just a regular French fry. They're good, they're a little cold now, but. And for dessert, I got a bacon cheese dog. Now oh, there's fucking onions on it. I don't like onions, but I guess I'll like onions today, god damn it. It doesn't look as good as I anticipated. I'll take a bite for you guys though. Mm. You know, the onions give it kind of this this weird oniony taste. Obviously the burger's goaded, river stop. We gotta get to work tonight, keep editing these videos, as well as 30 minutes of cardio. Taking River for a walk, breaking down all the boxes cause it's garbage day tomorrow morning, and just being an adult, you know? You just always wanted to be an adult until you got here, and you're like, Damn, it was not as fun as you thought. I'll catch up with you at the end of cardio. I'm just gonna wrap this video. I'm just gonna wrap this up by saying like, you guys don't know how many people actually go through shit. I, I read all your hate comments, literally every single one of them. But I like put myself in this like, I guess vulnerable position. And it's crazy how many of you guys are like, that's fucking crazy. No guys, that's what living is. It's insane that like you guys choose to hate on that instead of just going out and living your own life. I love consuming content. I love creating content and I watch other people's content. I don't think I've ever really left like a negative comment unless it's on like a 300 pound whale's Insta. <laughs> I'm like, cut's gonna be insane or like something funny like that. And like, if you guys wanna make jokes, I'm a funny fucking guy, like I'll laugh. So, one thing we all have in common is we're gonna fucking die. And uh, at least when I go down, I could be like, you know what, I experienced so much, and I have to, cause I know I'm gonna die early. So, the fact that I've experienced probably three times of lives before a lot of you haters will even experience going on your first fucking date, cause you just sit behind your keyboard and talk shit, that's a life that I'm happy with, well, content with. So I'm gonna wrap this up, finish my cardio, do a little bit of editing before bed, and I'll see you guys in probably the nine, yeah, the nine week out video, or eight. I can't remember what we're at on video terms, but we're pushing, let's get it.